have to draw hair for your icon edit. I don't know what you guys call it, but here we go. So for the base, I use hair base too, and I simply follow the flow of my model's hair like this. I used my own custom brushes for this tutorial, so I will just put the link below so you can download it. You can use any color for the hair, but here, I use eye dropper and cut in the hair color of the model. I also use the flip tool so I can easily draw the hair from the other side <laughs> now add a layer then clip it to the base layer then change your brush to hair base one for the color I used a darker shade of the base hair but you can also use a lighter shade and again follow the flow of your model's hair you can also make your own flow, but make sure that the flow is realistic. Excuse my voice, mga mahal. Add another layer, clip it, then choose the screen as blended. I'm still using the hair base one but in a larger size, larger than the second base. Add another layer, clip it again, then use multiply as a blend. Then change your brush to airbrush normal. Just brush it to the parts of the hair that you think that needs some shadows or needed to look like darker. I don't know how to describe it but I think it will give more volume to the hair. Add another layer, clip it, then choose add as the blend. Then change your brush to hair highlights 3. Add another layer, then change your brush to hair strands. Then just draw hair strands. Just make sure that it looks realistic. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous right now because this is my first time using my voice for a video. Apollo, mo lang yung hair. Basta si lampas. <laughs> Isang video pa lang yung nagagawa ko pero tuyo sa yung utak ko. And that's all. Charan. Watch out out. Nagalahay ko yung Eddie.